sound off. Sorry. Yeah, you need sound. Bullying. The Me Too movement against sexual harassment. Masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Is it? We can't hide from it. It's been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off. Who's the daddy? What I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. But she says it's the And there will be no going back. Because we, we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. To act the right um, way. Bro, not cool, not cool. Some already are. In ways big Yo, men. and small. I'm strong. I'm strong. But some is not enough. So we treat each other, okay? Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. All right. I, you know, I don't like it. I don't like it for a lot of reasons. One is they're a shaving company. Give me a break. I mean, who cares what you think, Gillette? Well, but the, their slogan forever was the best a man can get. Okay. So you could do something about the best a man could get without implying that most men are all men, uh, 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 you know, uh, bad people that, you know, and, and you're equating rapists, you know, like Weinstein, real creeps, real, the Me Too kind of really, but the real bad stuff in the Me Too, not the everyday stuff with a, a couple of boys, you know, wrestling on the ground. I mean, give me a break. Boys will be boys in some cases. And a couple of kids wrestling on the ground is not going to hurt anybody. And it's like, okay, so maybe, maybe that example where you say, okay, you know, boys, they are going to kind of get into physical scuffles. And as long as it's not out of control, that that's normal. Okay. That's bullying. And, you know, uh, do I regret pulling girls' hair when I was 12? When I was, how old was I? I was in, uh, how old are you in sixth grade? Um, yeah, I guess 10, oh, 11. 10, 11, yeah. No, not really. I mean, the girl kind of got her brother to beat me up. And, you know, but, but you know, it's, you grow up. You, 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 you bump against each other. You do stupid things. You, it, so I would take children out of this completely. I think most kids... I take out the bullying. I think most kids, you, you experiment with stuff. You, you do things that are inappropriate. It's part of why I, I, you know, I was so, even, even when it came to Kavanaugh, you know, I was like, this was, he was 17. Leave, you, right. you know, leave me alone. We do stuff when we're young and not that I'm justifying what, if, the, if what really happened, happened, you know, who knows, but if it really happened, happened, it, I'm not, I wouldn't justify it, but it wouldn't be relevant. But, Leave kids out of this. Uh, you know, they're, they're, sure, there are ways to raise kids to respect women, but that has nothing to do with, with tuffling around. Uh, you know, the only, the only one I, I kind of respected was in the boardroom where he puts a hand on there. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's, that's condescending and stupid. But you could do an ad like that. What about, about the one, the guy on the street where he stops the leering, sneery guy? He okay. says, hey, that's not cool. I like that. Yeah, okay. I mean... I, I, I mean, it's all fine, but what, what is Gillette trying to say about this? Well, they're just trying to say you could be a better example, I guess, for the boys, right? So you could, you could do it in a much better way than this. It's way too generalized. It's way broader than it needs to be. And again, it equivocates between looking at a woman. We talked about beauty. I mean, I look at women. Uh, we, we, talk, we talk about beauty. I'm, I'm objectifying Rahaf Muhammad, right? So, yeah, you know, we're all, we, I mean, I don't think it's objectifying to look at something beautiful. Um, and it, so you, between living and looking and raping and me too, and boys tumbling, you, you, you're making this whole equivocation between all these things, which I don't think is just, I mean, 
you you should have one on me too and talk about if you, if you really wanted to real you, issues yeah real issues real harassment uh, you could have another one about treating women who are intelligent with the respect that their intelligence deserve the boardroom type thing and you could talk about not objectifying people right uh, and not objectifying women but we also objectify men men objectify men right he's just you know he's just you know, he's just got too good of a body. He's he's just a a stupid uh, what do you call it? Life stupid dog. jock, right? Stupid jock was what they used jock. to say. We, we objectify. We 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 use good looks to objectify people on every side of this. So, you know, I think there's a way to do the ad or to make the statement in a positive way rather than a negative way. And this is what men should. I be mean, doing. it's not a bad statement that they want to make, right? They're saying. Um, our slogan has always been the best a man can get. And it's this dual meaning, you know, our razor is the best you can get. Ha ha, go, you know, go out, spend your money. Um, but also, you know, what is the best that a man can get, make himself in effect. And they're saying, yeah, we have learned something, but then they haven't given you a clear statement of exactly what it is that you've learned and what, how, how you're supposed to take away from it. Yeah. Oh, and put it and put it properly in perspective. I mean, um, Yes, I mean you could do something about how how you how men should treat women without, you know, going all out. And now, you know, sure. And I mean, and it, and and they, not just men who, who treat women, but the issue of bullying, right? But bullying is not only about men; it's also about girls. I mean, girls bully other girls mercilessly yeah. in school, yeah. and yeah. there's girls who've committed suicide because of bullying Something from other girls. girls. Uh, in their bullying than the boys are boys it's my primarily physical girls do it psychologically which is yeah. which is often much worse so i think it's a much too complex issue to kind of try to wrap it all up in one what is it a minute and a half uh so maybe minute. have a series and do a better job with the real issues but i don't think they're capable of figuring out you know men are men boys are boys now what does that mean what does masculinity mean what does it mean to be a man what does it mean to be a boy and I think these are far too complex issues for Gillette to get involved in. I think it's a mistake, um, you know, and, and, and it's- Are it's, you are you being like, is there a similar word for chauvinistic against like corporations that sell goods or something? What if Gillette says, hey, we wanna use our clout and our commercial dollars to make a decent statement? You, I mean- but I'm not, I, really, I I'm not saying that they're not capable. No, I mean, they're not capable in the intellectual environment in which we live. I think very few people on the planet are capable of making an intelligent statement. So they hire somebody who is female relationships. I think who are they going to hire? They're going to hire some feminist. You, I don't know. <laughs> they're not going to hire me. You know, they're not going to hire me. And I'm not sure I know how to make the statement right because, because there is a delicate balance here between what it means to be masculine and feminine and uh, you know, and then what, how, when does that spill over into being harassment? And what is, what is, you know, wrestling in the, in the, in the backyard mean? I mean, I used to beat up my brother mercilessly. And uh, I mean, I, and, and, and I, at least that's what I'm told by my brother, but no, I, but, but yeah, I, I mean, I used to be very physical as a kid, very physical. And I used to wrestle with boys. I used to wrestle with girls. I used to pull girls hair and, you know, was I a bad kid? Was I, you know, a bad woman or whatever. I, it, this is really hard stuff to, to define and articulate and what kind of culture do you grow up in? And, and I do think there is an issue with, with men being, I mean, the war against boys, I mean, of men being emasculated, of, 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 of trying, to, trying to take the masculinity out of boys. But what does masculinity mean and how does it express itself? These are deep, interesting, complicated psychological questions that I don't think we're at a point in our culture where we can clearly define them without spilling over into a, a, an agenda of modern feminism, which is tied up in a lot of garbage. It has some good, I'm not saying it's all bad, but there's some good, but it's all tied up in some, in some really bad stuff as well. It's complicated. <laughs> so in terms of, you know, are, is Gillette horrible for trying to do this? Is Gillette horrible for trying to do this? I mean, there's been all kinds of reactions all over the map. I don't like it. I, I think it's pretentious and I think it's, I think they, they're getting themselves in trouble. And I think they're more likely to piss people off than to make people happy, particularly men who, who they're trying to sell a, a razor to. So I, you could, you could easily make a video on treat women with respect, treat women as intellectual equals. 
and not get into the masculinity issue. I mean, the, the couple and, examples you know, with the adults, you know, the, the examples with the adults, I mean, to me, I found it kind of touching. I did. Again, they generalize too much. They, they you know, it, it, there's a whole line of men saying boys will be boys, boys will be boys. And there's one guy who steps out and does the right thing. It's just too much of a bashing men in, 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 in a way that. It, yeah, that was, that was a bit much like that was almost, you know, you're going to laugh about it because there's so many guys in a row versus if you just had maybe a couple guys and it's like, oh yeah, boys will be boys. It would be more believable, right? Because that's, that's the scale. It happens, but it's not on that scale. Ways to do it, yeah. I think that respect men and respect women and make the argument sexual harassment is is unacceptable but even even there what is what constitutes sexual harassment but clear sexual harassment is unacceptable and uh, you know treating women as object is unacceptable and not respecting women for the intelligence is unacceptable and if you ended there fine nobody would have nobody would object that would be cool but they went a lot further than that and there's there's a lot more in the video than that in my opinion. The headline that they had, I think it's PJ Media, is just so funny. Gillette tells men they're repulsive creeps. Now give them your money, you piece of garbage. Yes. That's, you that's, look that's, good when you, when you abuse the women, uh, the women around you. I mean, that's terrible. Um, right, yeah, so that's a bit far. And if that's how you in interpret it, yeah. But like I said, as a woman who's had some issues with some less than ethical guys, I, by, by their attempt, I was, I was touched to some of it, but no, you're right. It's, it's overbroad and it is paint men. So as I said, at the end of the program notes, we have uh, Jezebel's, yeah, kind of a dark song, but Haley Mary, if you know, she did an interview on this song comes out, you're not anti-man. But and you're also celebrating the fact that it is getting better in most places oh, no, in the world right. for women, generation after generation, it's getting a little bit better and a little bit better. I would never tell a daughter the same things that my mom told me. It's like, no, you know, no, and and I wouldn't never tell, I, I wouldn't never tell my daughter. And and um, I'm trying to think if my mother told that kind of stuff to my sisters, I don't really know, but uh. But yeah, I think it's, it gets better every generation. You're seeing more f women engineers. You're seeing more women scientists. You're seeing more women in fields that nobody would have conceived that women would enter in the past. And it, where intelligence matters, uh, you're seeing more and more women enter those fields. The, the biases in math and in science are not completely going away. But, 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 you know, life for women is much better today than it was 50 years ago. Yeah. So. I think it's getting better. And the problem is that they, that if anybody's going to undercut the progress made, it's these third wave kind of feminists who hate men and therefore are going to turn people off of, of, of the progress women have made in the name of, of man hatred. So, and that's what I worry about when I see ads like this. Right.